state championship number four found its forever home in the Quincy Notre Dame trophy case this afternoon, underscoring just how casually Raider soccer has made the art of team excellence look to the outside world. But the architect behind it all takes nothing here for granted about the destination or the journey. What a great group of kids. I mean, they were a joy to coach all season long. You know, we went through some ups and downs with some injuries of various players, Brock Evans, uh, Tanner Anderson. I mean, those guys missing games, uh, but we have the other guys that stepped up and the great group of seniors that did a great job of leading. I mean, 10 guys and, you know, seven or eight of them consist consistently contributed on a regular basis. And, you know, they were just a, a great group of kids to be around. They got along well, they played well together. Uh, you know, and they definitely came together at the end when it really mattered. Moreover, Greg Reese found the end game for this team a particularly fitting tribute. I'm not a stat guy by any means, but uh, I looked at our regular season total when we scored maybe 48 goals uh, during the regular season. In the playoffs, we scored 45. I mean, that's insane uh, to think that we were able to do it that way. You know, and I think my envisionment of what this team was going to be like at the beginning of the season was scoring that many goals on a regular basis. I mean, for 20 games, we scored 48, and in seven games, we scored 40, 45, 44, something like that. So just an amazing accomplishment, and it's a testament to what these guys were capable of, and it just took a little bit longer than to, to put it all together. Welcoming home the newly minted state champions in the Gem City, I'm Sports Director Chris Dewar.